at the end of your life, what do you want to be remembered for? Who do you want to have delivered for? What would make you the most proud? I'll give you a hint. It won't be your houses, your cars, your property, your jewelry, any of that stuff. See, purpose is always found on the opposite side of you and me. When we focus on ourself, that's never going to provide us the fulfillment we're looking for. Whoever devotes themselves to themselves will have nothing but themselves to show for themselves. The people you admire most are not the people that lose weight or get out of debt or run really fast. Nothing wrong with those folks, so that's great accomplishments and so on. The people we admire the most are, are, are the ones that impacted others. The people that made someone else's world better. There's a God-given desire in, in every one of us to know what we're doing makes a difference. We all want significance, but to have significance to accomplish those dreams, you've got to fight. Whatever your goals are, it's going to take a fight. Life is a fight. You can choose to play offense or you can choose to play defense. Okay, defense is just what most people do. I mean, they just, one, one disaster for another. Either the challenges of life are either at their house, coming to their house, or just left their house. That's one fight, okay? It's a constant fight. Or you can choose to take offense, to chart a course, okay, to fight through the thickets to your goals. The reason why most of us struggle is because of our thinking, okay? You know, our educational system teaches us what to know. It doesn't teach us necessarily how to think. We all know that winning is hard, but we act surprised when every day is in a bowl of cherries. If, every day, if it's just not a smooth path, you know, we, we think something's wrong. That's the way it's supposed to be. What's your choice? Life's hard. Losing's hard. Winning's hard. We just have to make a decision what we want.